Meet Emily. Emily is looking to get a mortgage so that she can buy a house in the suburbs. Luckily, Emily has watched our video, Mortgages 101, so she feels confident in her ability to understand mortgages. However, she has no idea what to do beyond this point. What should she do? Well, her first step is simple. Get a pre-approval for a mortgage. This is a letter, sometimes called a Good Faith Estimate, or GFE, that is written by a lender on your behalf, stating that you have been pre-approved for a certain loan amount. As you can imagine, these are quite useful for determining what homes you can actually afford. Plus, they're a requirement to work with many real estate agents. However, they do have two caveats. One, most pre-approval letters will expire within 90 days. And two, pre-approval letters are not mortgage guarantees. Any significant changes to your credit score or debt levels during the home buying process could jeopardize your loan. Sounds great. So how does one actually get a pre-approval letter? Well, Emily can either use our recommended website or query her personal network to find several well-regarded lenders in her area. Then, once Emily finds them, she should fill out their pre-approval applications, ideally within 14 days, to avoid hurting her credit score. Then, once Emily has compared all her pre-approval letters and chosen the best one, she can finally start looking for a home. To start this process, we highly recommend Emily find a good real estate agent. Good agents are well-versed in local listings, laws, and regulations, and will have connections with the inspectors, appraisers, and lenders that Emily may need, especially if she doesn't already have a pre-approval letter. So how can Emily find an agent? Well, she can either search online, query her personal network, or work through our preferred real estate agency. Unlike most agents, who are paid a small percentage of the home's final sale price by the seller, the agents from this site are salaried, and paid a bonus based on your satisfaction. That means they're incentivized to produce the best possible experience for you, not rush you into a home. In either case, once Emily has found her agent, she's finally ready to start looking for an actual home. To find them, Emily can again either ask her agent, query her personal network, or use our recommended website, which makes this process extremely easy. Then, once Emily finds a home she might consider buying, she just has to follow this three-step plan. Step one, tour the neighborhood the home is in. That way, you'll be able to get a feel for everything from the area's schools to its crime rates. Step two, if you like the neighborhood, stop by an open house. Open houses give people the chance to view a home in person without an agent, and they're generally between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. on weekends. Step three, if you like what you see and want to see the home in detail, schedule a tour of the house. At this point, you will need to bring your own agent, who will likely require you to get a pre-approval letter if you haven't gotten one already. Hopefully you and Emily now have a better understanding of how to get a mortgage and a home. Be sure to check out our next video, where you'll learn more about how to get homeowner's insurance. And be sure to check out our website, where you can find great real estate agents, mortgages, and more educational content.